Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing and commenting. I appreciate the support. And if you're interested in supporting me further, you can do that by going to my Patreon or Ko-fi link. They're in the description below. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about a question that someone, I don't remember the name of the person now, Amanda asked, I believe. I don't remember the, I'm sorry, I don't remember the person who asked this question. But the question was this. Do INFJs knowingly or unknowingly run from things, from situations, from people, things like that? And it was, it's a good question. And obviously the answer is absolutely yes, absolutely freaking yes. We do all the time, constantly, on a daily basis, on a sometimes an hourly basis, run knowingly and sometimes unknowingly when we self-sabotage ourselves from things. A lot of it obviously has to do with the door slam. Instead of actually telling the person that they're annoying us, or perhaps we have told them already, you know, you're annoying me or you're doing something. Probably not though, because we're terrible at confrontation. Specifically for me, a lot of times I would just run away from the situation. If the person was being difficult in a way, or they were being rude in a way, or racist or sexist or something like that, it was irking me. Instead of having a conversation with the individual and saying, all right, look here, you're saying certain things and it's really bugging me. Can you please stop doing that? Because if you don't, then I'm going to have to cut off this relationship or this friendship. Instead of actually saying those things out loud to the person so that they understand that what they're doing is incorrect and should be remedied. Instead of doing that, I just run away. And then a month later, two months later, three months later, the person messages me saying, I haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? And then I ignore their messages sometimes, or sometimes I tell them, but mostly not. Yeah. Now, obviously, I know you guys know this. I've changed that way of doing things. I try very much to have a conversation with the person because it's really debilitating, not only for me to have that hanging around in the back of my head, but also for the other person to not know what happened and to just suddenly be cut off from a relationship or a friendship. It's really harsh. I really don't want to do that to someone else anymore. So again, that's one of the things, one of the ways we run away from people, from situations as well, where, you know, it's uncomfortable and we door slam situations as well. You know, maybe we are um, in, a, in a place where we don't really like our roommate. Instead of actually telling the roommate, all right, here, look, you always leave your dishes in the sink and you never empty out the garbage and you leave empty containers of or cartons of milk in the fridge can you please stop doing all this stuff otherwise i'm going to have to leave instead of having that conversation with the person what we actually do what we en end up doing most of the time is we just run away we just walk not even walk away we run away as fast as we can in the opposite direction that's basically how we kind of deal with all these uncomfortable difficult offensive situations and again, instead of having that conversation, instead of talking to the person, we're like, yeah, no, I'm done with this, bye-bye. And really what my, a lot of my lessons have been is to stop doing that, to have a difficult conversation. Because not only does it teach you a lot, teach me a lot, I, it taught me a lot about you know, perseverance and grit and, and about having those conversations, about communication, about becoming stronger in that way, but it also taught, teaches the other person Maybe someone's never told them that they do these things. Maybe they have no idea that their breath smells. Maybe they have no idea that they leave dishes in the sink and that's a bad thing to do. Maybe they think it's, it's the normal thing to do. Maybe that, that's how their household ran. Maybe that's what their mothers did. They have no idea. Or maybe your partner who you left because they kept on chewing their chicken wings very loudly <laughs> is, has no idea that they do that, you know? I mean, I'm obviously I'm being funny in this way but there's a lot of reasons a lot of weird reasons that we run away from situations sometimes funny sometimes not so funny sometimes terrible sometimes really picky and so maybe this person has no idea right and so first thing you're not only bringing yourself up and making yourself stronger but also you're teaching that other person and also you're not running away from the situation which i think is not only a sign of sign of cowardice but also a sign not, not only of not being mentally strong, but also not respecting people around you and not respecting yourself. I think you're stronger than that. I know I am definitely because now I notice when I do have these difficult conversations that instead of running away, let's sit down and talk about this. Let's actually have a conversation so that we don't lose a, another relationship, so that we don't lose another person. Now I'm not saying 
that means that you need to stick around with toxic people. I'm not saying that you need to stick around with negative people. I'm not saying that people who drain you, you still need to be around these people. I'm not saying any of that stuff. I'm not saying that you need to just take it all and not step away. I'm saying have that conversation with that person. And then if they're still being rude, if they're still doing the same thing, if you're, they're not listening to you, if, if it's still happening over and over again, then of course, door slam them, obviously, if you want to, or if, run away from it, or walk away from it. But at least have that initial first conversation with that person so that they know exactly where they stand, where you stand, where the whole situation stands, rather than you just disappearing one day out of the blue and that person having no clue what happened. Right? That's one of the things I really am not liking about this door slam situation. I really don't like it because the other party has no clue what they did wrong and that's something that they need to know, not only for them to improve themselves, but also so that they don't do that again to someone else. Right? You don't want them doing this over and over again for the rest of eternity to everyone that they meet. Right? Not every roommate has to deal with this. If you just talk to them and they never do it again, then you've actually improved the world in a way. You've actually made the world a better place, right? So that's an, another thing. Unknowingly, and I've done a video on this about self-sabotage, we unknowingly run away from things because we self-sabotage ourselves. We basically are breaking things before they're going to be broken, assuming that they're going to be broken because we predict that they're going to be broken when it's actually probably not the truth. That's a little bit confusing, so I'm gonna, gonna talk about it again. Let me use an example. That's the best way to do it. So, for example, yes, this is a great example. So, what exam for example, you're in a relationship and you're in a relationship with an individual and you have this prediction in your head, which you're absolutely sure about, that this person's going to break up with you. They don't like you anymore. They're going to break up with you. It's absolutely sure it's going to happen. My intuition's telling me. It's not. It's your fear telling you that, but that's okay. And so you're like, all right, instead of being broken up with, I'm going to break, make this person break up with me faster by doing weird things, by making them hate me, or I'm going to break up with them first. And so you're being preemptive about it, and you're not letting this happen on your own. And so you break up with this person for no apparent reason. They weren't even thinking about breaking up with you. They still love you. They still want to be with you. They're confused. They have no idea what's going on. And basically, you run away, right? Knowingly, unknowingly, probably unconsciously at a sub subconscious level you know that you're doing something crazy but consciously you're like no I'm taking care of myself I am protecting myself I'm defending myself I am basically taking care of myself yeah no you're not you're running away from a situation unknowingly yeah and I've done this many times before so I'm not saying it from a point of view where where I'm be better than you guys <laughs> I've done all these foolish things myself many times in my life and I'm sure I'm gonna keep on doing them over and over again for the future as well but again, at least I can see it a little bit more. I can be a little bit more aware of these crazy things that I do. Yeah? And this is not only in relationships. We sabotage jobs like that as well. Sometimes we're like, no, I'm not, good I'm not good enough at this job. I know my boss hates me. I should just leave before my boss fires me. Your boss doesn't hate you. They actually think that you're a great employee. They want to keep you. There are certain things you need to improve upon, of course, but they still like you. But for some reason, you've taken upon yourself that you think that, the, that your boss hates you and you run away unknowingly, sabotaging yourself. Yeah. And this has happened many times in a lot of the stories people have shared with me in my own life. And so we really have to be careful about that as well. Have a conversation with the person. That's the one thing that we always forget to do as INFJs. And I really am really angry with myself and annoyed with myself, frustrated with myself, when I just forget that the easiest way, the easiest route in the situation the easiest thing to do is just to have a simple conversation. To sit down with your boss and be like, all right, so do you think that I'm doing a good job or do you think that I, I need to improve or are you thinking about letting me go? Have that conversation. Most people are very upfront and honest about things when you just ask them a good question. Or with your relationship, what do you think about this? Do you think that we're going in the right direction or are you thinking about breaking up or what, what, what's on your mind? Tell me, right? Very simple conversation to have, very simple words to use. But for some reason, as an INFJ, I find it's like completely impossible for us to just even get into that sphere, into that mode where you just have a conversation. Tell me what's going on with you. Don't dilly-dally, don't beat around the bush, don't make stupid assumptions. Don't do all of that stuff. Don't, especially don't make assumptions because you don't know if it's true or not. Ask the question, talk to the person, have the conversation. And then of course, yes, if they say, yeah, you know, I'm not feeling it anymore. I don't want to be in this relationship. Then perfect. Great. 
break up at that point, but not before you have that conversation with that person, not based on random intuition and assumptions that perhaps are true, perhaps are not. They need to be confirmed by having that conversation with that other individual. Stop running away from situations, knowingly or unknowingly, without actually having that conversation. I think that conversation, just having that conversation, makes us so much more powerful as a human being, more, more stronger, and it I, I builds better relationships, and I think it just builds a better life in general. It makes us the best version of ourselves as much as possible, which is what we're looking for as INFJs. So just have that freaking conversation, please. And I'm talking to myself as well here. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this makes sense. I hope I was able to explain myself to you guys. If you guys have any questions about this topic, it's an important one, so I really want you guys to understand it and hopefully really apply it in your life. Let me know if you have any questions. Message me below, comment below, and I shall do a further video on this. And of course, if you want to support me further, if you like my videos or want to support me in general, you can do that by going to my Ko-fi link. It's in the description below. Again, I shall see you guys the next time around. Bye for now.